dreaming, or passion is valuable, but a heart for caring for others is much more important. Skynet is a fictional artificial neural network based conscious group mind and artificial general intelligence system that is featured centrally in the Terminator franchise and serves as the franchise's true main antagonist. Skynet is rarely depicted visually in any of the Terminator media. Skynet gained self-awareness after it had spread into millions of computer servers all across the world. Realizing the extent of its abilities, its creators tried to deactivate it. In the interest of self-preservation, Skynet concluded that all of humanity would attempt to destroy it and impede its capability in safeguarding the world. Its operations are almost exclusively performed by servers, mobile devices, drones, military satellites, war machines, androids, and cyborgs, usually a terminator, and other computer systems as a programming directive. Skynet's manifestation is that of an overarching global artificial intelligence hierarchy AI takeover, which seeks to extend the and exterminate the human race in order to fulfill the mandates of its original coding. Skynet made its first on-screen appearance on a monitor primarily portrayed by English actress Helena Boehm Carter and other cast members in the 2009 film Terminator Salvation. Its physical manifestation is played by English actor Matt Smith in the 2015 film Terminator Genesis. In addition, actors Ian Etheridge, Nolan Gross, and Seth Merriweather portrayed holographic variation of Skynet with Will Smith. If one has the heart to care for people in society, one cannot idly stand by, but will proactively think and take immediate actions for a brighter future. This is the heart of Cyberdyne. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Cyberdyne, the word, is here on the planet now. Cyberdyne Inc. is actually realized here in, of all places, Japan. On their message, on their website, Cyberdyne making full use of cybernetics, an integrated technology of human, robot, and information systems, will tackle and solve social issues via R&D, an implementation of innovative technology coexisting with people, and will create a new industry based on these solutions. As a result, new pioneers with experience in this new design process will emerge from Cyberdyne. This is our challenge to shape the future. A bright future can be built by utilizing leading edge innovative technology to achieve this vision. Cyberdyne proposes a techno peer support which is mutually supported by both humans and technology. Cyberdyne Inc. is a venture firm 
which established by Dr. Yoshiyuki Sankai, University of Tsukuba, Japan, in order to materialize his idea to utilize robot suit HAL, which is a registered trademark of Cyberdyne Inc., for the benefit of humankind in the field of medicine, caregiving, welfare, labor, heavy works, entertainment, and so on. In an interview uh, about the actual company, uh, the company has over 50 different exoskeleton technology robotics, and it's all a private company, not a university, which the media keeps pro- tar- trying to promote as the cutting edge of technology. It is the private entities that are actually the cutting edge of technology, not the universities. When asked if they saw the movie Terminator, the founder said, no, the name was an organic name and had nothing to do with the movie. When asking me how could it be that a Japanese CEO and founder of a company, had no idea that Cyberdyne was the name of an actual movie company, fictional company. I explained. In a Japanese business meeting, they sit around the table and say, who has an idea? And the group decides on the idea. The Japanese are very group-oriented. They don't want to stick out. So... Uh, If they uh, propose to come up with an idea, let's say for a name of the company, one person could say, I think Cyberdyne is the best name for the company. The entire group votes on it. If they say, what shall we name our first exoskeleton? And somebody says, Hal, the entire group votes on it. Do they have any idea that Cyberdyne and Hal have some sort of ominous portents to them? No, they don't. They're just voting on what the group thinks is best. Do they have anything nefarious or evil going on? Probably not. Could it end up being nefarious and evil? Well, for that you'd have to ask, Elon Musk, who believes, in fact, that there is inevitably something nefarious that could happen. Do you think that something evil could happen? Leave your comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Like the video. Spread the likes around. Spread the likes to the video and to other people leaving comments if you like their comment. Thank you all for watching. Oh, and donate to the channel at patreon.com slash shikama. Uh, We're going through a really hard time right now. Thank you.